It's time for another highlights package from the Vitality Women's Premier Division. I'm Simon Mason and here's the best of the action. In the top six, Clifton Robinsons, who were without a win in 10 games, hosted East Grinstead and took the lead in the 15th minute through Claire Jones. The lead was doubled before half-time thanks to a Catherine McCauley goal. Livy Hoskins put the home side three goals up five minutes into the second half. Despite EG pulling a goal back through Sophie Bray, Clifton comfortably held on for all three points. Beeston hosted Wimbledon with footage from BTV. Kate Axford, the nearest to camera, really shouting for the ball. Beeston, they'll have a break. Not many players back in Beast, uh, to defend. It's an interesting ball through. Play towards Nicky Cochran and in for the first goal of the game. And the celebrations can begin. What a lovely finish. Spreading the play from the right to the middle and now the ball out to the left. But that's been well watched and Beeston can break here. Big injection of pace. Nice chop inside, the run continues, support is there, the layoff. It's actually fallen back to its play towards the goal, we've been turned in for a second. What a run and what a goal and Beeston double the lead. Two in the game for Wimbledon. Here's the trap, it's played towards the right hand side, it's low, it's been turned in and Wimbledon are on the score sheet. Bell playing the ball into the circle. Is this a shooting chance? It slipped in behind. And that's the third! Tremendous goal! Both those results meant the Surbiton went into their game at home to Hampstead and Westminster, knowing a point would be good enough to secure the league title. But they went behind early thanks to a Grace Ballston goal. In the second half, Lucy Hyams scored to mean the visitors went away with all three points. Surbiton now have a six point lead with two games to go. Hampstead and Westminster are the only side with a chance of catching them but themselves are also in a fight to secure second place, with East Grinstead and Wimbledon close behind. In the bottom five, Holcomb put in a dominant first half performance to beat Loughborough students. Candice Manuel put them ahead in the 10th minute. Tanya Eskic doubled the advantage in the second quarter. Two goals in two minutes from Harriet Pittard and Ivy Pessina just before half-time appeared to put the result to bed in favour of Holcomb. Izzy Petter and Beth Alexander scored for the visitors in the second half to set up a nervy finish. But Holcomb hung on for all three points. Swansea hosted the University of Birmingham knowing that they had to win to have any chance of staying up. But Millie Atwell put the visitors ahead in the 22nd minute. Further goals from Lily Walker and Delith Thomas put paid to any hopes of a Swansea comeback. So Swansea are confirmed as being relegated and will be the only side getting relegated with the Premier Division being confirmed as being made up of 12 teams next season 